How you guys doing? This is Jason with Tuna Tech, and I've got something exciting to me. As you all know, my favorite smart home company has released an updated version of a popular camera. Okay, so Wise has been on, was on a tear uh, six months to a year ago releasing so many products it was crazy but it's been a little while they've uh, made their support better they uh, made their services better uh, they've upgraded a lot of I would say under the hood kind of things but now they're starting to slowly upgrade their devices before you'd ask anything about matter the new smart home standard I will tell you wise is on that committee or however you want to word that but they have yet to support it any of their devices. A quick read on the internet shows that the reason for this is might be just the processing power of a lot of their lower end initial devices. And this camera, there's no guarantee, has a little more power and may support matter, but I haven't had anything official from Wise yet. When what am I talking about? The new Wise Cam 3, version 3, it's hard to see there, Pro. So this is an indoor outdoor camera like the V3 they released a while back, but this has got 2K HD and most of their devices camera wise are 1080p um, and that's perfectly fine. So it's good to actually see something a little updated. So it should be interesting to see how this works. So just to look around the box, you see a picture of the camera. As you can see there, it's got a little spotlight on it, which is new. It's got a black front and a camera right there in the sensor right there in the middle. It has, you know, obviously the Wise app. It works with Google, Alexa, and IFTTT, which is great to know. So it shows you on this side that the app and where you can get it from and some of the stuff it does. Color, night vision, and two times or 2K HD. It says here, pierce through the darkness with an integrated spotlight and color night vision. So it shows you a picture there of typical color night vision and then color night vision with spotlight. So obviously the spotlight's gonna help increase. One thing you have to realize, so they have a floodlight that's out and that's compatible. It's basically a floodlight. It's basically a, a camera, a wise version three, not the pro, the standard version three with a spotlight accessory. But when they sell it, they sell it together. This, according to the uh, research I've done, does not work with the spotlight with the uh, floodlight accessory because it already has the small spotlight built into it. So keep that in mind when you're buying this, you won't be able to swap that out unless you're pretty tech savvy maybe, I don't know. Uh, color night vision, 2K video resolution, IP65 rating, weather resistant. It's got two way audio with siren. And I've, I've, from what I understand, the speaker is quite a bit louder and more clearer. It does 24 seven recording with the micro SD, which does come standard on these, and you can pop that in there if you don't want to use the cloud. Integrated spotlight, view cameras and browser, person detection, and full length event recording. Now these are these three things at the bottom, the cameras with the web browser, the person detection, and the full length event recording is only with their subscription of Cam Plus, Cam Plus Pro. But the web view is kind of nice if you're sitting at home and you want to, or sitting at the office and you want to log in on your you know, if you don't have your phone next to you, you can get a, a wider view of all the cameras. There's some cameras that aren't supported, but I'll let you figure that out yourself. But needless to say, let's kind of dig into it a little bit. I'm kind of excited about this and all. Oh, you guys know how I love these. I got my eye backed sticker. I've got a sticker for almost every, there's only like a handful of items I don't have from Wise, and that's because I just don't need them, like the sprinkler. I do have a smart sprinkler system, but I don't have a sprinkler system at my house. But got that, get toss that on the good old locker I have. You got your quick start guide, so pretty good to have this if you have any issues. But basically you open the, the app, add device, and it kind of walks you through it as well. So keep that in mind. And this is pretty standard packaging for them. I think all cameras look like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera aside. This is the device itself, and we'll see what else comes in the, the box here. We got some cardboard, and then there's a box at the bottom, and I'm gonna assume this is you know your your chart or your your power brick and or mounting issue. So you got your long USB cable, and it's still micro USB. They still haven't switched to 
type C, which is interesting, but um, they do include a cable. So if you're worried that you won't have enough cables, they actually include one so you don't have to worry about it. And then they include your mounting screws if you want to screw it into the wall or wherever you want to mount this. And then a magnet so you can actually, you know, attach it to the wall magnetically so it's easy to move around. So all that stuff is pretty standard for their for their equipment. But this is what I'm really kind of interested in because I really love their cameras. They're small, they're compact, except for their pan cameras. These are pretty nice. So as you look at around here, this is your typical stand. So you can set it up like that. You know, this would be the ground right here. You can like that, you can turn it, you can take it out. So it's kind of nice. You have, this is your mounting screw right here, but you can also use that to mount it. On the bottom here, you have your setup button. So when you plug in, you hit the setup button, it says, you know, ready to connect. You got your SD card slot. It's all behind these rubberized things to keep the weather out. Uh, there's your, your plug in the back and speaker. And on the front, that was actually pretty satisfying. You got your spotlight sensor and then some, um, can't see me here but some infrared lights around the outside but while you're staring at that let's just take a look at some other things so like i said it's got 2k video and color night vision built-in spotlight and integrated siren so this does have a siren that you can play as long as as well as the, fl the floodlight you know those cameras all have them too but this is supposed to be a little bit louder it's got a powerful processor with Edge AI. So again, like I talked about earlier, it's a little more powerful. So I'm hoping Matter will come along. Maybe not with this device, but maybe if they start upgrading some of their older devices, you can do that. It's indoor and outdoor weather rated at IP65. Um, it's got motion activated spotlight. So again, it's integrated. So you don't have to have the, if you don't like the large floodlight that they have out now, this would be a little bit more compact. It's got two way auto audio dual core 1.2 gigahertz with eight tops neuro network accelerator spotlight four megapixel starlight sensor and a micro sd card slot we talked about it's got crisp clear 2k resolution so again you know when someone's trying to break into your house or you're trying to see what's going on you know pinch to zoom 2k resolution is going to give you a little more i guess uh, what's the word i'm looking for a little more detail so going back to the Edge AI, Edge AI detection doesn't rely on the cloud to do its thinking. For the WiseCam V3 Pro, that means free, near instant person detection right when you need it with no subscription required. So most of the other cameras have person detection if you pay for it and package detection, but it uses the cloud. This is instantaneous and right on the device. So that should be interesting to see how that works. Um, all the all new cam with a brand new app so they have upgraded their app they have a new feature called smart focus they have a thumbnail overview they have event type so you can kind of distinguish between what kind of things it's seeing and it's also got spotlight control right in the app and you know it's just it's very interesting so smart focus you move the slider to check out the new smart focus with smart focus activated the wise cam v3 pro zeroes in on people while still keeping tabs on the wider view so basically, if it sees something, it'll kind of digitally zoom into it, but still keep its eye around the surroundings, which is very, very, very interesting. So that's just a kind of a overview of what this camera is and what it can do. Um, I am a huge, huge advocate of wise devices. They're reasonably priced. I think this is, let's see, what do they say this starts at? $49.99 for one, or it's $95.99 for two. Uh, that could be a little more or a little less depending on your region and if you have a subscription service they sometimes give you a percentage off but this is the wise cam v3 pro from wise check it out i'll leave it i'll leave a uh, link in the description below to where you can purchase this at and if you want to see a review i haven't done any reviews on anime rise wise products yet uh, most of the comments just kind of want to see the device they haven't really asked for um review but it's, it's a smart camera so i don't know much how much of a review you can do but if you'd like to see more leave a comment below and let me know this is tuna tech catch you next time